ओके गाइस टुडे वी विल बी सीइंग दिस लैब मिटिगेट बायस विद मेन डिफरेंस इन टेंसर फ्लो लाइक वी विल बी वर्किंग विद मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल टेंसर फ्लो हियर नो जस्ट स्टार्ट आवर लैब कंडीशन इंपॉर्टेंट अगेन दो Three times, okay, and first of all, we need to start with task zero. We need to set up like we have done this, and we need to enable the notebook APIs. As here, we will be cre creating a new like notebook, user defined notebook. So for that, we need to enable some APIs, notebook APIs. So click on this APIs, and here library. Open this. Here, search for notebooks API. Uh, open this. And click on enable. So you can see the notebook API has been enabled. Open this. open this navigation menu and here what is Vertex AI. So we need to enable the recommended APIs for Vertex AI. Okay, click on this enable all recommended APIs. Okay. The recommended APIs have been enabled. Just click on this workbench. Go to user manage notebooks. I will be creating a new notebook for ourselves. So click on that. And click on create new. Okay, for the values, okay, first we have enabled the APIs right to secure progress. And for the vertex I work with, we have to create a new notebook with tender, TensorFlow Enterprise 2.2 Intel. It's 2012. So select that one. Okay, TensorFlow Enterprise 2.12. And the default zone and region are US Central 1 and US Central 1A. So they are already there. So just leave them. Yes. We need to click on create. Yes, we need to wait for three to four minutes for the instance to create. So just wait.
All right, so our notebook has been created. I just click on Open Jupyter Lab. Okay, and let's check our progress. Then okay, we need to subtask to. We need to clone a close force repository to our vertex A workbench. So for that, just open this command. Just wait until this lab is loaded. Okay, click on this terminal and copy the command what you have like paste the command what we have copied right now like it will clone the repository like course repository for this project okay, it will take like three to four minutes it will download all the folders Yes, the repository has been cloned. As you can see, this is the repository. Just open this and we are finding all these right. So that means we have successfully cloned the repository. So let's check our progress. Yeah. Okay. And now yes. What are these notebooks? Here, to go to responsible A and then fairness, you can responsible A and fairness, you can open solutions and this will be the IP and we file we need to work on. It previously contains the outputs, so we need to just clear those. So click on this edit and click on clear all outputs. The previous outputs will be disappeared. Okay. And now just we need to go through these instructions like information and we need to run each cell one by one. So okay, like we'll be importing for the warnings, we have imported the warnings so that we don't we don't see any unnecessary warnings in the output. And we are importing like C bone. NumPy and TensorFlows and the recommended modules for this lab. Okay, and we are preparing data. So from this data set, we are providing data train and data like training data and validating the data. Okay, now just see what is the training data. Okay, this will be the training data, like the common text and the toxicity and the gender and is everything. 
some more like empties. Okay, and they have like more than 10 likes records. And now we'll be just printing only the values in that toxicity column. Having the values one. Okay, we are having here values zero, right? We are only printing the toxicity values having one. And those are only five values. And okay, we have printed only five values. And we are like now printing a histogram for this diagram for the toxicity and the discount value, like zero toxicity values are more, and the one is very less. You can see the values. And these are just labels. And we are dividing this by training data main and validating data. And I just will be training the model. Okay, this is the optimizer one. Yeah, now let's see what will be the accuracy of our validation. Yeah, and the validity accuracy is 0 0.92. So this better model, we can use that. And now we are creating splits with data frames. Okay, like sensitive data and train non sensitive data, and in the training, we are having sensitive, and in the training, we have non sensitive. In the testing data, also, we are having like valid sensitive and data valid non sensitive. Okay, let's see what is in the sensitive, like data train sensitive values, and this is the non sensitive. Okay. For the creation of mean difference, we are just dividing those into values. And we're training in the histogram format for the sensitives and for the non sensitives. We are defining the false positive right here. Let's check what is the false positive rate of the model. Like for the non sense 2, it is 0 0.06 rate, and sense 2, it is 0 0.15. And okay, now this will be taking the model, like build model. And then we are dividing the data sets. And we are training the model. Okay, now visualizing our data model in the histogram format. 
okay this is the first power to rate so non sense to and sense to and this is also computing as here okay we are having the threshold values like this we are having 0.2 and here 0.3 as you can see by increasing the threshold value, we can also decrease the false positive rates. Okay, and we can go to the detailed explanations here. Right. Okay. And that's it, guys. We have completed our lab 100% days. Now we can end our lab. Yes, anyone having any questions?